Microsoft removed learning pathways from the SharePoint lookbook. So how do you install it? Well, I'm gonna walk you through the whole process in this video. And if you don't even know what learning pathways is, you're really gonna get a lot from this video because you want learning pathways in your environment, trust me. It's free and your users are gonna love it. Let's get into it. Now, the first thing we need to do is create a site for learning pathways to be installed into because we're going to be having to deploy this to an existing site. So let's create that site. We're going to create, we're going to create a, a new communication site. You can really use any template you want. You just need a, a communication site. Uh, we can, instead of learning pathways, we can call this user training or we could just call this training. We'll just call it training. Because this is going to be providing uh, training to end users on M365. So things like, you know, there's the office products, but then there's also SharePoint and Teams. And it's it's a really, really great resource and it's 100% free. So let's get this thing going. All right, so now that this is creating uh, the site. Let's go and check out what Learning Pathways is in the documentation. There's a link below in the description to go straight here. But once we're here, we're going to go to Provision Learning Pathways. You could obviously read a lot of information on what Learning Pathways is and the uh, benefits you'll be able to get from that. We're going to go to Provision and then we'll click on these instructions, the link there. And then we're going to scroll down. You'll see a bunch of different links here. You'll see one to Microsoft 365 Learning Pathways. This is what we want. So once we click on this, it's going to take us into GitHub straight to a particular file, m365lp.pnp. Now, what, what the heck is this thing, Steve? Uh, it, it's really simple. It's actually just the template itself. If you want to uh, use this, all you have to do is download this and use PNP PowerShell to, to, to apply this to a site. That's, what, that's the process we're gonna be going through and it's incredibly easy. All we have to do is we download the file here and once we have that, uh, we can jump over to PowerShell. Let's just check back into this site and see if it was created. It was created, let's uh, let's go give it a quick look. Yep, basic old communication site. I think you've seen those those before. So now that we've got this, let's we're going to be turning this into something cool. So let's bring up PowerShell. Uh, now, as I mentioned, we're going to be using PNP PowerShell. Uh, they did just recently change how you connect to the environment. So now you've got to specify the client ID of an app registration. So let's, uh, let's, let's update this. This is gonna be training. So let's look and see. We're using uh, connect-pnp online to connect straight into our newly created site. And once this is done, we're gonna be applying the, the template. Okay, we've got that. Let's get a clean, uh, PowerShell window here. So now we're going to be running this right here. Update that. Okay, let's take a look at what this thing is doing. We're calling invoke dash PNP site template. This is applying the template that we downloaded and then we're passing in parameters. Now this is going to be a mandatory thing. If you leave off the parameters, you're not going to see an error in PowerShell but the site's not gonna work. It'll look like it's there, the, the pages themselves uh, are, are there, but like you're gonna get errors if you start clicking into stuff, like just nothing's gonna work. It's, yeah, uh, I've already made that mistake once. So you'll have to pass in this parameters object and all this really is doing is, look at me, uh, I'll resize this a little bit so you can see it all on one line. We're passing in what the site URL is to our site collection. So it's the relative path, so slash site slash training, that's the site we're gonna be applying it to. And so once we run this, it will go through the process of provisioning learning pathways or applying the site template for learning pathways 
to this, this communication site. Now, this is going to take a bit of time. So we're going to be um, waiting for this to finish. But while we're waiting, this is a great time. If you want to stay up to date with SharePoint and uh, all the news that's coming out are on SharePoint, uh, SharePoint Premium, uh, all the, the new web parts, the, the additions, all the, the Copilot type additions as well uh, that's coming into SharePoint, uh, it's already things are already starting to roll out. Uh, there's stuff that comes out all the time. If you want to stay up to date on all that, I've got a SharePoint Insights newsletter that's going to be perfect for you. Uh, you can check the link in the description below, but it's a free weekly newsletter that keeps you up to date on all the roadmap items that are coming out, all the announcements coming from Microsoft, all that stuff that's in all these different places. I put it in one single place in a weekly email to you. So I definitely recommend signing up for that. It, the list is growing like crazy. So check the link in the description for that. And I will come right back as soon as this thing is done provisioning. So the provisioning has finished. Let's go check out what this site looks like. By the way, this actually does support multilingual as well. So you could have learning pathways in a number of different languages to support your users' needs. So we'll go back over here. We'll refresh this site. And it definitely does not look like a normal communication site anymore. We've got uh, a great hero uh, web part here with some options. We can go into the M365 training item and we will we'll see a ton of different options here for training. Uh, if we go back to the uh, previous screen, you'll see an option here for the admin stuff. So here's where you could go in and start setting this thing up and customizing it for your organization. You can go in here to Learning Pathways Administration and start to enable or disable features depending on what you want people to be able to learn. You'll see Viva Learning down here. Now, this actually will deploy into Viva Learning as well. So Viva Learning can leverage this um, alongside the other material you're serving with Viva Learning. So a really, really cool thing. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of this uh, and what this thing can do and configuration. Uh, check the documentation, though, uh, to learn more about this and make sure that it's, it's meeting your needs and it will it will help you. I'm pretty sure you're going to like this. You're really, really going to like this. So let me know down in the comments below. Are you using Learning Pathways? Uh, did you know it was even gone from the lookbook? Did you even know what Learning Pathways was? Let, let's talk about that in the comments. And speaking of recent changes, did you know that, sh that the uh, SharePoint editing experience has been changed quite a bit? There's a new content pane that's out there, and I, I, you really need to know about this because it's going to be opening the door up for a lot of really powerful features in SharePoint. So to get started learning about that, just click or tap the screen, and I'll see you over there.